Good day. I'm Diana May H. De Villa from Equan. So, I'll be reporting a part under the topic Dangerous Drug Board. So, what is Dangerous Drug Board? Dangerous Drug Board is a government agency tasked in creating policies. So, sila po yung gumagawa ng mga policies o mga batas na rin po in dealing with illegal drugs in the Philippines. So, alam naman po natin na talamak ang paggamit ng illegal drugs sa bansa at sila po yung gumagawa at namamahala dito. Objectives are to provide family members with knowledge. So, binibigyan po nilang kaalaman ang bawat pamilya on the danger of drug abuse and enhance competencies to resist the temptation of drugs. So, pinapag, nagbibigay rin po sila ng competencies and encourage and motivate family members to become actively involved in drug abuse prevention activities. So, mayroon po silang ibinibigay ng mga activities in prevention of illegal drugs. So, nagmamotivate po sila ng mga family na makilahok po dito para po malaman po nila ang dapat gawin para po makalayo sa temptation of the drugs. Next, Dangerous Drug Board leads the campaign against drug abuse and illicit trafficking in the Philippines. So, isa rin po sa pang pangunang layunin ng Dangerous Drug Board is to campaign against illegal drugs at yung end to illicit trafficking in the country. It was established in 1972 through Republic Act 6425. Composed of only eight national government agency as members, so binuo po ito na ang 1972 sa pamamagitan po na Republic Act 6425. So ano nga po ba yung Republic Act 6425? Republic Act 6425, otherwise known as the Dangerous Drug Act of 1972. As amended and providing funds for its implementation, so sila lamang po sila lamang po yung nagbigay ng fund o ng pera para po mabuo ang agency na ito. Under this act, the Dangerous Drug Board remained as the policy making and strategy formulating body in planning and formulation of policies and program on drug prevention and control. So, ang Republic Act 6425 lamang po ang nagbigay ng fund, pero ang Dangerous Drugs Board pa rin po ang bumubuo ng mga policy, ang gumagawa ng bawat strategy at nagpaplano in formulating it. So, sila pa rin po yung namamahala sa agency na ito. So, these are the eight national agencies in the country form part of the Dangerous Drug Board. Unang-una po, Department of Health. So, no, Department of Social Service and Development, Department of Education, Culture and Sport, Department of Justice, Department of National Defense, Department of Finance, National Bureau of Investigation. So, it is what it means. This is what it means po. Department of Health. The Department of Health is the executive department of the government of the Philippines responsible for ensuring access to basic health care, the regulation of all health care services and products. So, sila po yung mamahala sa kalusugan ng bawat tao, sa bawat Filipino po. So, involved po ito sa Dangerous Drug Board kasi nga po, sila po ang mamahala sa kalusugan ng bawat tao. Pilipino at inaalam po nila kung involved po ba sila sa illegal drugs at iba po mga drug use. Department of Social Service and Development, the executive department of the Philippine government responsible for the protection of the social welfare of rights of Filipinos and to promote the social development. So, pinopromote po sila nila yung social social development para po maayos na maipakita na responsable po sa proteksyon ng social welfare ang act na ito. Department of National Defense, the executive department of the Philippine government responsible for guarding against external and internal threat to peace and security of the country. So sila po yung namamahala sa security and peace ng isang bansa para mapanatili ang seguridad nito. Next po, Department of Education, Culture, and Sport, the Executive Department of the Philippine Government, responsible for ensuring access to promoting equity 
and improving the quality of basic education. So, sila po'y namamahalang ng edukasyon ng bawat Filipino. Siyempre po, para din, ini-involve din po dito ang malaman po nila ang ka kahalagahan ng pagkakaalam ng about sa illegal drugs pa din po. So, they are under drug prevention po. Department of Justice, the Executive Department of the Philippine Government responsible for upholding the rule of law in the Philippines. So, sila naman po na mamahala sa batas ng bansa. Department of Finance, the Executive Department of the Philippine Government responsible for the formulation of institution and administration of fiscal policies management of the finance. So, sila po na mamahala sa pera ng isang bansa. Sila din po ang nagbibigay ng equality in using it po. National Bureau of Investigation, an agency of the Philippine government under the Department of Justice, responsible for handling and solving major high-profile cases. Sila naman po ay namamahala sa pagresolba ng madadami pong kaso na involved po dito sa ating bansa. Sila din po is under ng Department of Justice and they are taking a relationship in, in promulgating law. Next reporter is um, Ralph Joseph Cabrera. Thank you po. My name is Ralph Joseph K. Cabrera from ECO1. Um, I will be explaining the story of Dangerous Drug Board Agency. So, noong 1972, ang problema sa droga ay nasa pasimula lamang nitong yugto na may lamang 20,000 na gumagamit ng mga droga at marijuana sa Pilipinas. Ito ang senaryo ng droga nang naprobahan noong March 13, 1972. Ang Republic Act 6425 na hindi man lang nakilala bilang Dangerous Act of 1972. <clears throat> sa parehong taon, ipinahayag ang Presidential Proclaim Number no. 1192 tuwing kalawang linggo ng Nobyembre sa ng bawat taon bilang pag-iwas sa pag-abuso sa droga at linggo ng pagkontrol na ipinapahayag. Pinangunahan ng DDB or Dangerous Drug Board ang pambansang advokasiya laban sa pag-abuso sa droga sa pamagitan ng pagtataguyod ng isang tumutugon at masiglang pakipagsosyo sa pagitan ng mga gobyerno at ng lipunan. Noong 1974, ang Interagency Committee on Drug Abuse Prevention Edu Educational of ay nabuo upang palakasin ng ugnayan sa pagitan ng iba't ibang mga ahensya at ang Dangerous Drug Board. Sa pagtugon nito sa sitwasyon sa, ng pag-abuso sa droga sa bansa, ang pagsisikap ng DDB ay kinilala rin ng mga katapat sa ibang bansa at iba pang mga ahensya ng international. Noong panahon iyon, Si First Lady at ang gobernadora ng Metro Manila na si Imelda R. Marcos ay nagsasagawa ng buong kampanya laban sa mga pag-aabuso sa droga. Itinatag ang Anti-Drug Abuse Council sa lahat ng mga lungsod at munisipil munisipalidad sa Metro Manila. Pinupondohan ng Colombo Plan Drug Ad Advisory Program ng unang pambansang workshop sa edukasyon ng pag-iwas sa pag-abuso sa gamot na inayos sa DDB or Dangerous Drug Board. Ang Dangerous Drug Board ay pinamamalaan ng isang lupon, isang multidisiplina na katawan na binubuo ng 17 mga membro. Tatlo sa mga ito ay permanent, 12 ay ex officio at dalawa ang regular members. Nagpasya ang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas mula sa tatlong permanenteng mga membro na hahawak sa posisyong bilang tagapangulo ng may ranggo at kalihim. Ito na lang po and salamat po. Good day, I'm Jim Stretchwell Baskugin from Group 2 and I report the functions of DDB. The DDB is mandated to perform the following functions. Pursuant to the provision of RA 9165, formulate, develop, and establish a comprehensive, integrated, unified, and balanced 
National Drug Use Prevention and Control Strategy. Sinasabi dito na bumubuo sila ng isang matatag at balancing para sa pag-iwas at pagkontrol sa bawal na gamot. Promulgate such rules and regulations as may be necessary to carry out the purposes of this act, including the manner of safekeeping, disposition, burning, or condemnation of any dangerous drug and or control prosecutors and essential chemical under its change and custody. Sinasabi dito na ang naturang patakaran ay maaaring kailangan din natin upang sa layunin ng ating batas. At sa ilalim ng patakarang ito ay ang mga remedy, remedyo at mga paraso sa mga paglabag sa naturang patakaran. Conduct policy studies, program monitoring and evaluations, and other researches on drug prevention, control, and enforcement. Naglalayon sila magsagawa sila ng patakaran para sa pag subaybay sa mga sa pagkontrol at pag-iwat sa droga. Then last is initiate conduct and support scientific, clinical, social, psychological, physical, and biological researches on dangerous drugs and dangerous drugs prevention and control measures. Uh, sinasabi dito na susuportahan nila ang mga clinical at pagselektik sa mga pinagbabawal na gamot upang makontrol at maiwasan. Good day. Again, I'm Diana May H. De Villa from ECO1. So, I'll be explaining the continuation of the functions of the Dangerous Drug Board. So, next from it is develop an educational program and information drive on the hazards. So, magda-develop po sila dito ng program, an educational program po about illegal drugs at kung ano po yung masamang epekto po nito. Prevention of illegal use of any dangerous drug. So, dito po, papaalam po sa kanila kung bakit po kailangan i-prevent ang paggamit ng anumang klase ng droga. Controlled prosecursor and essential chemical based on factual data and disseminate the same to the general public. So, ipapaalam din po nila sa publiko kung ano po ang illegal drugs, ano po yung mga chemical na involved po dito. Next, for which purpose the board shall endeavor and make the general public aware of the hazards. Ang dangerous drug board po is dapat nagpupunta po sila in public affairs, ipapaalam po nila sa public kung ano po ba yung masamang epekto ng illegal drugs of any dangerous drug and control precursor essential chemicals. Dito po, ipapaalam po nila kung ano po ba ang danger na daladala ng illegal drugs. So, Ito po yung isa sa function po nila. Next, conduct continuing seminars for and consultation with and provide information materials to judges and prosecutors to condition with the office of the administration. Administrators. So, dito po nagsasagawa po sila ng mga seminars like like nga po ng educational programs about pa rin po sa illegal drugs. Design especially trainings in order to provide law enforcement officers, member of the judiciary, and prosecutors, school authorities, and personnel of centers with knowledge and know-how dangerous drug. So, dito po, isa rin po sa function nila, syempre, yung ipaalam po sa mga public affairs, sa mga law enforcement, kung ano rin po yung drug, uh, dangerous drug. So, dito po, Ipinapaalam din po nila, sila rin po yung nagsasabi sa tao kung ano nga po ba talaga ang drugs at ano po ang masamang epekto nito. Design and develop consultation and coordination with the DOH, DSWD, and other agencies involved in drug control. So, nagkaroon po sila nga in a relationship with the other agencies like Department of Health. So, so the so, so the agencies can prevent the implementation of illegal drugs. 
and other agencies involved in drug control, treatment, and re rehabilitation, both public and private. So, nagkakaroon din po ng rehabilitation for those na affected po talaga ng illegal drugs. A national treatment and rehabilitation program for drug dependent including the standard aftercare and community service program for recovering drug dependence. So, dito po, pag po nagkaroon na po siya ng rehabilitation, nagkakaroon din po ng uh, recovering from use of illegal drugs. So, napakalaki pong function ito ng Dangerous Drug Board. So, that's all for our report. Thank you for listening again. Uh, for the third time, I'm Diana May H. De Villa with my co-reporters, Baskogin James Richwell and Cabrera Ralph Joseph. Thank you.